Along with lymphocytic colitis, collagenous colitis is a type of microscopic colitis and as the name implies the diagnosis is made through the microscope and by implication colonoscopy is either normal or nearly normal. The condition presents with watery diarrhoea and there may be abdominal pain and it affects females around eight times more frequently than males and the age group affected is either middle-aged or slightly older. Collagenous colitis may be associated with the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, aspirin and proton pump inhibitors and around 4% of patients with celiac disease develop collagenous colitis. The condition is also more frequent in patients with type 1 diabetes and autoimmune conditions such as thyroiditis and psoriasis and smokers are at increased risk of developing collagenous colitis. The hallmark of collagenous colitis is of course the subepithelial collagen band with a thickness of 10 microns or more. A useful way to assess the thickness of the collagen band is to compare it to the diameter of a red blood cell. A red blood cell is usually about 7 to 8 microns in diameter, so the thickness of the collagen band should be around 1.5 times the diameter of a red blood cell or more. Other features include infiltration of the surface mucosa by lymphocytes, uh, preservation of the normal gland crypt architecture and increased numbers of lymphocytes, plasma cells and eosinophil polymorphs in the lamina propria. Here is a nice example of collagenous colitis and this colonic biopsy has been stained with a trichrome and the collagen stains a greenish blue highlighting the thickened subepithelial collagen layer. The other thing to note is the virtually normal gland crypt architecture with a normal component of goblet cells. Here is another biopsy of collagenous colitis. You can see that the subepithelial collagen layer is thickened. It is staining pink uh, right at the top of the picture. And the other thing to note is that the surface of the mucosa has started to drop off. This is because of the rigidness of the collagen underneath it. This colonic biopsy shows florid features of collagenous colitis. The subepithelial collagen layer is clearly thickened and it is well over one and a half times the width of a red blood cell indicating that the thickness of the collagen band is well over 10 microns. In addition, the lamina propria contains increased numbers of lymphocytes, plasma cells and occasional eosinophil polymorphs. Yeah.